Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. In the last episode, we unlocked two mods, one of which is power, which we'll be setting up today, hopefully, uh, if all goes well, which I have planned, so hopefully it all goes to uh, the plan. But we also have unlocked potions, uh, vault potions, which is going to be an upgrade from the pacifist vial, which I currently have. So I think I want to do that first before doing anything else, because I really want this. So to make a pacifist potion, which is the type that I like, uh, passively restores charge charges while inside a vault. There's the Slaughterer's Potion, kill vault mobs to restore charges. And then there's the Goblin one. I could go with this one, um, but I feel like just passively restoring is a nice thing to have. So I do want to go ahead and make this. I need a Puppy, uh, some Vault Essence, two gold Apples and two Vault Diamonds. So now I even have this. I, I even have this flower. L look at that. I can actually go ahead and just make it. Boom. Now this is an upgrade because uh, this heals four hit points. This will heal six hit points. And I guess I could go ahead and add this to my uh, thing over there. But I think if I'm not too badly remembering, one of these things will allow me to add this here. And then if I have this stuff required, I can actually go ahead and like add stuff for it. So for example, when I drink it, I also get uh, plus the, hit, the extra hit points. The healing, I could also get speed for 15 seconds or regeneration for 30 seconds, which is what I had in my old one. Um, yeah, ooh, mana though. Restore 60 mana. That's not too bad either. I'm not sure which one to take here. All right, I have 16 diamonds and I have 16 vault gold. I think I'm still going to take the regeneration because if I am actually drinking this thing, it's probably because I'm in a real pickle and getting the regeneration could potentially save my life at some point. And there we go, just like that. Boom, plus one regeneration for 30 seconds and heals six hit points. I think that is a pretty good investment. <laughs> And now before we go ahead and take a look at the power stuff, we need to go ahead and go in here because we completed the archives quest in the last episode, which results in a pog, which is really cool. And we also completed the altars one, which also gives us a pog. That is pretty cool. I don't think I have any more pogs than that uh, laying around, so that's fine. Uh, and then we have unlocked Divine Paradox build realm. And as much as I want to go ahead and read all this, I want to go ahead and make sure that we actually have power unlocked so we need to go ahead and get started with that now do i remember correctly that this uh as rewards to mod boxes we actually have a use for the mod boxes now oh man oh this, this just got very exciting i am going to wait for for daytime because i do want that to be nice and bright when we go ahead and do this so um yeah it gives us a second it, it, it's a nice view actually 11 mod boxes if we could get like an energy cell or cables that would be absolutely amazing let me disable my magnet Oh, okay. I mean, I will take storage upgrades and I will also take a framed compacting drawer. That's cool. And another framed compacting drawer and another drawer upgrade. <gasps> Wait, what's that? What's that? Thermal generator hardened. Um, so I believe this could generate power from lava, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. Blazing crystal. Can you get that? How easy can you get that? Ooh. Yep, that's gonna yeah, that that takes some stuff. But we can actually use this. Interesting. I wonder how much power that would generate if it's like surrounded by lava. Let's keep going. Let's see what we Okay, at this point I was planning on like having solar panels, but at this point it's kind of telling me to like go a specific direction here. The starter solar panel, those I wanted to make anyway. What's this? A furniture? What even is this? I mean, it's expensive to make, but what is this? And it's blazing. Oh, I'm just going to use the remaining of these. I mean, there's no point in saving them because yeah, another furniture hardened and this another one of these. Wow. Okay, well, first of all, I mean, we got the, the thermal generators here. We have the solar panel. We'll know that what that is. We can go ahead and add the drawer stuff in here. But what on earth is a furniture? What even is this? Uh, it has stored. I, I honestly don't know what a furniture does. Carbon? Like it doesn't say in here either. It says the crafting and then this, whatever that means. I don't know if this can actually like use power or if it like, I mean, it, it's from power. It has to make power. Oh yeah, it generates 800 FE attack. Like does it just, 
Is it literally like a furnace? Oh, oh, it actually. Oh, oh so anything I guess with carbon, like wood and coal, etc., it converts it into power. Okay, so if we had like a tree farm or something, we could get power from that. Oh dear me, I'm ruining my floor. Okay, so we have some options here. I did not expect to get this. Now for the thermal generator, how much power does it actually like produce if like placed on top of lava or something? All right, manual acquired thermal generator. Hello, the thermal generator is an FE generator that generates energy when placed on top of a high temperature block slash fluid like lava require a coolant fluid like water to Oh, if I take some iron, go ahead and make a bucket and then put water do I then need to replenish the water because that would then mean that I need something like a pump to keep it going, which is fine, but I don't have a pump at this point in time. So that could result in uh, this not working the way that I wanted to. Let's see thermal first lava boom thermal generator boom water go in okay it does use water and it produces like f well it says 100 fe attack okay so how would i then be able yeah, you, you thought i would break that and then drop it into the lava and that that would be funny huh but nope that <laughs> i know better than that okay so it's not really an option because if i search for pump i would need something like mechanism or botania or create which i don't really have so these are going to be useful very useful in fact later down the road and uh furniture also really cool maybe we can set like a, a single one of these up i'll keep one in my inventory but for now i think the thermal generators are just going to go in here and we're going to go with my original plan of using firstly producing power to an energy cell which is basic which we didn't get unfortunately out of everything we didn't get an energy cell we need energy cables and then we're going to be running with solar power just because i think it is going to be pretty cool and what i'm going to be using that energy for anyways is going to be iron furnaces specifically so i don't have to rely on fuel and also keeping running a refined storage setup uh eventually when we get to that point point. and this is now all hopefully the dielectric paste that we're going to be needing so i don't need to be making any more more. I already have one solar starter panel, so that is kind of nice. But we're going to be starting off with an energy cell, which is the basic one to begin with, because then we can use it to then later upgrade. So that requires this, which is basic capacitor, dielectric casing. The basic capacitor requires this, uh, which then requires in return that. So I need to get all of that again. Uh, we do need some chromatic steel as well and some rods. So there is, in general, a lot of crafting in this process. Um, so that is going to be really, really fun. So I need four of these, which means I need eight of these. So that is boom, just like that. Then go ahead and need to get the vault thingy right there. Then I can go ahead and make four of these exactly. Perfect. So that is these. Then I need this thing, which then requires two of these exactly. I don't want to overcraft. I only want to craft the stuff that I actually need for this because I want to save on the very expensive resources. And boom, just like that, we now have have a basic energy cell. Now this basic energy cell can hold 4 million FE and it can receive and output 4000 FE a tick and this should be plenty for our use case. If we wanted to upgrade this we would need to upgrade it to hardened and we could do that but that is quite expensive and again we don't really need to do that so it would just be a waste of resources. So that is that done. Next I need to go ahead and turn this back into kyber, uh, ky kyber? Kyber, kyber crystal no uh, <laughs> carbon and the next thing that we need to make are these or some energy cables, which I think we're gonna start off with. Yeah, definitely. So we need horizontal dielectric rods and we need basic comparator. And I don't think we need more than 12. Maybe, maybe like make 24 or so. So that means I will need two of these, which means I will be needing four of these, which means I need more ingots. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, so what did I say? Four. Let's do eight just to be on the safe side. Go ahead and make all these. So that's four. And then need to go ahead and make like, I need a six. So I think 12 exactly and then this wow I'm getting everything right so far I have two okay I spoke too soon I have two left over anyway that is 24 energy cables I'm just future proofing this for like when I want to route stuff I actually have the cable I need for it next is the solar panel starter which again I'm going to be needing that that and this which is that oh dear me 
So I'm thinking of a three by three setup. So I already have one, which means I need to make eight, which means I need to times eight. So I need 16 of these. So I need tinted glass. I also need to go ahead and get a bunch of this. Can I say 18? I say, I, no, 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 no. I, I, I don't think so. Uh, that's uh, eight times two. Yep, 16, exactly, perfect. Need tinted glass, how do you, amethyst? I don't have enough amethyst for that. Do I? Maybe, wait, maybe I do, hold on. I don't know how much I actually get out of one operation. I need 16. <laughs> I need more, I need more, hold on, I need more amethyst. Uh, where do I get that? Big cave and vault rock, but no amethyst specifically. Oh dear, this could be, um, this could be interesting. Where's my compass? Amethyst Canyon, maybe? Not Rainforest, let's try Amethyst Canyon. Okay, so it's in that direction. That should be doable with a couple of leaps and jumps. I believe I've actually been there before. I just don't know if there's actually any budding amethyst that we can actually harvest. If not, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Yep, there it is. I see it in the distance. The jungle is changing color to the Amethyst Canyon, which is this. Right, hold everything, land. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing amethyst anywhere. Question is, do we have anything on the ground? I doubt it though. I mean, there's a cave entrance here, I just realized, hold on. Maybe, maybe, potentially. Nope, no amethyst on the ground. From what I can see anyway, yeah, go very bad. Um, imagine if there was just a, an amethyst thing, geode here. Oh, maybe I can search for geode actually. I mean, this cave is awesome. With the shaders as well. Oh, that's a bad spawner. Nope, don't want to deal with that. <laughs> don't want to deal with that. Oh, lag spike. Yeah, I need an, I need a geode. Question is, can I find that in the compass? Nope, no geode. That's a bit of a pickle, not gonna lie. Cause I need amethyst. <laughs> Wait, <gasps> no actual way. I mean, there's no things in here, but like, no way I actually found this. Wow, uh, amethyst, ameth uh, am amethyst. Is there a way I can actually get this? No, that's not pulverizing. Wait, if I have something with pulverizing, it's a 100% chance that I actually go ahead and get that. Okay, that could actually... I mean, I'm not gonna destroy these budding thingies. I'm just going to take the actual amethyst, which this place doesn't need anyway. Plus I might need it for the um, uh, the altar. But if I just take some of this, if not all of it, on the map, go ahead and add a uh, waypoint that says amethyst for future reference. I didn't bring my teleport back thingy, so now I need to find my way out of here again. This could be interesting. All right, we made it out, plenty of amethyst, and now to go back home and complete the rest of my plan with this amethyst, uh, blocks of amethyst. So this has hammering, but it does not have pulverizing. So in theory, if I go ahead and make like a baby tool, right? If I make something like not very expensive, something like this, it has hammering. And then I'm pretty sure that I'll have a pulverizing gem. I'm kind of banking on having a pulverizing gem. Pul pulverizing, pulverizing, there we go. I don't see me using that for anything else, honestly. Then I just go ahead and add that to here. So this is my pulverizer. And now if I go ahead and just add a bunch of this, and the hammer size is what? One hammer size. So this should be like, yeah, three by three. So if I just do this a couple of times, this should give me all the amethyst crystals that I actually need for this. So just go ahead and, oh, it needs picking, doesn't it? Wait, is this going to work without picking? It could work without picking. It's not working without picking. Okay, hold on. Picking, there we go. Go ahead and add that to here. Boom, pulverizing and picking now. Look at that, got an upgrade. And ideally I wanna be on top of this and boom, just like that, we got amethyst shards and I can now complete the tinted glass, even though I don't have enough glass, but that is fine because I have plenty of sand. Plenty is maybe an overstatement, but I got sand. I'm happy. And boom, 16 tinted glass, look at that. Okay, so now I can actually go ahead and make all these. 16, boom, that's what I need for these. Then I can go ahead and make eight of these and 16 of the basic capacitors. Oh dear me, okay. This part is going to be easy enough. 16 of these, one, two, three, uh, what am I missing? Hmm, right, right. I'm definitely, by the way, the next mod I'm unlocking, I'm definitely unlocking iron furnaces because the way for this is a pain. I need nine research points, 
but it's going to be worth it. It's going to be so much worth it. I thought I had some extra knowledge scores in there, but I don't. Interesting. Uh, is that in here by any chance? Nope. Okay. Need to, uh, definitely need to start grinding again then. Because <laughs> I want iron furnaces so I, these can go actually faster. Okay, I need 16 of these. Oh dear. Oh no. Yep. Okay, phew. Then I need 16 of the next ones and then 16 of that. Yeah, this is I'll be back when I have everything I need. Okay, now I'm just waiting for the chromatic iron. I have 16 of each of these. I have 16 of those. I have 16 of that. Now I just need to make eight of these if my math is correct. I need to make sure that I have eight chromatic steel ingots, which is going to take a bit as well. I don't think I actually have enough chromatic iron to be completely honest um do we have i don't think i have anything like marked down as chromatic i may need to go back to this cave this time though i'm bringing this and i don't need nature's compass i will need the light of the road so while that's melting even though i believe these chunks will not be uh actually running while i'm out here i'm gonna go and hopefully get some more chromatic iron we have arrived at the cave go all the way back down to where we were before and now I just need to find... Wait, this is it? <laughs> this is actually it. <laughs> Look at that. And the vein is actually pretty big. I did not expect to actually get this this quick. Um, but I will not complain. This is more than enough. Wow. Let's teleport back home. Home base. And boom. There we go. Nice. That that couldn't have gone smoother, honestly. That It really couldn't have gone smoother. <laughs> Nice, get that in there, get this in there. Now we are rolling. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, yep, that is eight of these. And then we can go ahead and only make two. I need a little bit more of this stuff, then we can actually go ahead and do it. And ladies and gentlemen, and finally, we can go ahead and make eight solar panel starter and they don't stack. That is very good to know. <laughs> But we have them now and what we could go ahead and do if we really really wanted to is go ahead and upgrade these to the basics But that's a lot more crafting. I think starter is going to be fine for now They can extract 40 FE a tick and if they extract oh, yeah I mm, that actually I'm not sure that makes sense, but they generate 20 FE a tick I think it's going to be fine for now I mean right now we don't even have anything that uses power So we're kind of setting this up and then just getting a backlog of power, which is kind of cool So start a setting let me sleep and then we will install this, I think, maybe up there. I mean, that would make sense. That's the highest peak. Ooh, yes, that, that, that has to be the power place. All right, so we're going to add some power stuff here. It's not going to be particularly pretty, but the sun is over there. It goes all the way around like this, so it makes sense to make it up here. I'm just not sure how I'm actually going to go ahead and make this. I'm trying to visualize it in my head. We are going to have, like, this area um, filled for... I really need, like... Uh, fine <laughs> uh we need this to have like all the cables and then all the things on top but i think this could work if we go ahead and get rid of this then place this like so okay maybe we need to add like some sort of border to it we could do that later uh we need to actually go and make these they are connecting indeed and i think yep they are slowly filling up their internal buffer which is cool oh and it connects so it becomes one big solar panel i didn't actually know it would do that that is awesome so if each of these are generating 20 fe a tick or 80 fe a tick it generates actually wait what's then generates 20 fe a tick max extract i'm not sure i understand that but that is 80 per so that is almost 800 uh, FE we're generating a tick. A little bit less, but almost close enough. And I think, actually, if I just go ahead and place the energy cell here with an energy cell uh, cable going down like so, we should... Yep, we're storing FE. We're generating power. Look at that. And then it's nice and accessible up here, I feel like. And then when we need the power, we can route it down. We can go all the way down. Right, and we only have 14 energy cables left, so we may need to make some more, but we can go all the way down. If we have some refined storage, I'm planning on adding it probably to this wall. We can drag it down like this. We can kind of see it from down here and we can go up and be like, hey, what's what's the power situation look like? I actually really like that. And if we want to, I think I can add this to here and automatically it's going to take power from this. So if we have like a lot of oak stuff, maybe, where do I have some wood? Do I have, wait, wood planks. I get tons upon tons of this. Um, does this actually work? If this actually works, 
with unlimited power essentially okay so this is carbon and it is it it is it's taking it if i remove this right yeah it's give, it's giving us power so basically i can just add all those wooden chips into this thing and we can get power from that as well i think actually you know i think we have a pretty decent power setup right here it's not the prettiest in the world but again maybe i can add a little bit of border to it maybe something like that i'm not sure what i could do i mean i have these plating vertical slabs they look kind of cool maybe i can add those around maybe potentially Ooh. oh yeah <laughs> I, I i like that I'm kind of liking this, I think. Uh, let's go Let's go all the way around. That makes this look like a proper structure. Let's maybe add it so like it looks like this entire top of the mountain is like have have, have this system going here. Maybe we remove this as well and add it so it's like the rest. Yeah, I like that. I think I like that actually. And it's not degrading the performance. Nope, not at all. Did I place that back? Yes, I did. We already have over 1 million FE with this. This is actually really cool, you know. <laughs> We are generating solar power. It is pretty cool. We can't really... Oh, we can actually see it from down here. It's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. I like it. And let me know if you like it down below in the comments. You could just see it in the background over there. I'm very excited for this. Again, the next bot that we're going to unlock is going to be... For now, anyway. My plan is to use iron furnaces. So that requires nine knowledge cores. So that's going to be interesting. Um, iron generators. Iron generators are a great entry point for 40 FE. Yeah, we don't need to generate power with furnaces. We need to use furnaces to consume power essentially so i don't have to worry about coal that was actually perfectly timed there we go nice that is going to conclude this episode ladies and gentlemen in the next episode we're going to be taking a look at building realm run realm whatever all this stuff is it's kind of looking kind of cool and we'll be getting back to running vaults because we're only level 42 i want to level up and i also need to desperately run a scavenger vault so i can complete both of these bounties this would have been really cool today but um Oh well, and this has a uh, black chromatic steel ingot, and that means I need to actually complete a scavenger hunt, so that's gonna be interesting. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like if you're brand new and enjoyed what you see here. Be sure to consider subscribing, enabling those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Also, join my Discord server, link down below in the description. Awesome community, join it, do it now. And with that said, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day, and goodbye.